Am I on again? Okay, we're back. We've had some technical difficulties. Looks like Burns has stopped Chase. It made him go three and out. Three plays, Chase maybe gained about four yards. We'll give you some numbers of who's in the game for Chase momentarily. Uh, we've got the radio station gurus down here trying to fix our problems. Talk about where we're Bryson Allen almost had an interception on second down. Okay, sorry I didn't see that. Chase set the punt. Low snap, but now he's got his foot into the ball. End over end punt. And up is Scooter Colburn to catch a dangerous play, but he held on to the ball, and he's down about the 35, 36-yard line. That's where Burns will take up. It's first down. Tom, your offense has struggled a little bit. Uh, your rank is sort of at the bottom of the county. Now is that time you and I talked about getting some of that time down. It's a messy field. Uh, we need to get going on offense so you can balance out there with your defense. See, Burns lining up in their very familiar triple option set. Two split wide left, two to the right. It's a back behind Cameron Barbie. I think it's Chris McClure. Barbie still with the ball, sweeping around the right side. He gets nothing. He probably lost a yard, Sebastian. Absolutely. Both defenses coming out, fired up and ready to play. Burns has had some injury at running back, so we're trying to figure out who's in there. Looks like number 10, Hillman. Yep, Deshaun Hillman. Deshaun Hillman might have been the ball carrier. I've just now gotten to a, where I could sit and I can see. Huddling up, Barbie set to come to the line of scrimmage. We've got Epps and Colburn out to the left. We've got Garrick Bradley out to the right. Now Scooter Colburn comes in motion. He's a pitch man. They'll get they blow it dead. It's got to be a motion penalty against Burns. You really don't want those. Those are drive killers, Sebastian. Uh, but, Tom, we haven't played football for a little bit, and you're going to have those errors when you have a week off and you're just trying to get back in the rhythm. And it's just tough to sit around uh, for an hour and 20 minutes. They, they got on the field. It's strangely eerily similar to last week where we had uh, a rain delay, but this time they managed to get them back on the field. There's rain delays all over the Tri-County area, R Rutherford, Cleveland, Lincoln, Gaston County, Four County area. We've had a lot of rain. Now here comes Bradley in motion, the pitch man. He'll get the ball around the left side, sidesteps one defender, but can't sidestep the rest. I give him a couple yards. He's up to about the 31-yard line, third in a taxi cab ride. Tom, again, uh, running game not effective. Do you abandon it at this point, or do you try and get in a rhythm with that passing game? Well, you know, when you have the procedure penalty and you back it up and you're in your second and 15, this makes it difficult for, you know, what you want to do. You want to run that triple option. Section broke down. Barbie st sidesteps one defender, but the chase pursuit got there. As I said, we're going to try our best to get you some of the numbers of these chase players as the game goes on. Just work with us here. We have had all kinds of technical difficulties. We're happy to be playing some football and bringing your broadcast to you on KTC, streaming live. And we appreciate Bill shooting, uh, Bill Shuford Heating and Air Shelby bringing you this game. Bradley back to punt. Snap is pretty good. Rugby style kick over to the right side, end over end. And now the ball's bouncing. The chase return man lets it go. Looks like Tominique Watkins is going to down it right about the 31 yard line. So that's where Chase will have it first and 10. Both teams go three and out. So not a whole lot of offense. Uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of commercial breaks either. Uh, we apologize to our sponsors that we've been having some problems with the program. So once again, we appreciate you listening on KTC. It's brought to you by Bill Schubert Heating and Air. Uh, we, sorry we missed a pregame show, which was brought to you by Stamey Teisinger Funeral Home of Falston. Here comes Chase with two wide receivers to the right. Quick snap. Quarterback rolls out. Late pitch. He got it away. Looks like the Burns defense collapsed on him after about a two-yard gain. Looked like number 19, Garrick Bradley out there. Looked like number two, Jaron Hamrick maybe. And number six. Number six is Trey McDowell. Trey McDowell on the stop. Looks like we've got a Burns player shaking up, Sebastian. And you have a lot. We have two. We have two Burns players shaking up. We'll keep it here until we figure out what the problem is. Tom, for a team that's coming into the game a little bit banged up, you don't want to see your players down on the ground. Both players, oh, they might have hit head to head. One has the player off. Now both are down. Here comes the chase training staff. We hope these young men are okay. Trying to get a number for you there, Tom. So far, yeah, I don't they're see laying one. on their back, so we're not able to get numbers as of right now. Burns players now have taken a knee. This might take a few minutes. See, one of the young men's up. That's number two. 
I believe Number that's two. Jaron Hamrick. Yes, sir, that's correct. So Jaron Hamrick limps off under his own power. Did have his helmet off, limps off under his own power. He seems to be okay. He's not being attended to by the medical staff. Maybe he just got a little ding. And let's see, that looks like number eight, Scooter, Scooter Colbert. Colbert. Yep. Okay, here comes the Burns defense. Chase has two wide receivers to the left. Single back set. The back is to the right. In the shotgun. No, oh, my fault. We, we, we had two men in the backfield. The pitch man is 35. We got about three yards. You got a you got a name on 35. Yes, I do. Tyrese McSwain. Tyrese McSwain, the ball carrier, gained about two. Third and five for Chase. Tom, this game was advertised uh, during the week as a defensive battle, and that's exactly what we're seeing out here tonight. It's either a defensive battle or a lack of offense battle. Neither team really doing a whole lot. Tom, Bruce Squires with a big game. They had a nice little pass, nice little decoy there out of the triple option. Picked up the first down. And man flared out to the left, and he was wide open and then had some yards after the catch. Ball now in Burns' territory at the Burns 48. First and 10 for the Chase Trojans. I do. That is Gus Owen. Gus Owen's at quarterback for Chase. We got a single back set. Power formation, they're gonna run the ball. Number 21's got it. Squeaks up for a, a wide to the right. We got a single back set, looks like another power formation. I expect another run. Burn with four down line, but that's exactly what it is. Uh, Chase with about a four yard gain. They're close to the first down marker. Looks like Chase wants to do a little power football with number 21, A.J. Potlow. Potlow, I believe his name is. We mispronounced that. Forgive us, we haven't had a lot of time to prep because of all the technical difficulties. So bear with us. We're doing, we're doing the best we can to bring in the action. Rashad Wilkins is checking in the game for Chase. Looks like it's about third and two for Chase. Last two times they've come with pretty much a power set, and that looks like what it is again. Single back set. I look for a right up the middle. Burns with five men around the line of scrimmage. And the ball on the ground? Was that a fumble? I didn't. Notice, Tom. Well, it didn't get much. He got very little on that play. About a hire for Chase. Now he's going to be split to the left. That's it. Everybody else looks like they've got a power package in and a single back set. And he gets it right up the middle and he squirts three for a first down. Got about three or four yards, Sebastian. Diving forward. A player that was highlighted up here in the booth for us is number 15, Bruce Squires. Tom, do you notice he's lining up a little bit on the outside? Bring a man in motion and he'll get it. It's 35. He's around the left side. He doesn't get much, maybe three. 35. Tyrese McSwain. And for Burns on the tackle was TJ Roberts. And it looked like they tried to give a little a little wrinkle in their in their option threat with giving it to the man in motion. They've been very content to run right at goes nowhere. He goes, uh, ball's on the ground. Does KJ, uh, does KJ Hopper have a recovery? Yes, he does. Yes, sir. First Ball down. squirted free, and KJ Hopper is Johnny on the spot, and that's a huge turnover. Stops a chase drive. Very fortunate for the Bulldogs. Tom, I'm wondering who knocked that ball free. I'm seeing Trey McDowell, number six, jump up a little bit of pep. Uh, Burns defense, very excited to get the ball. Burns not going to huddle in their, tri in their triple option set. I think that's Chris McClure behind uh, Cameron Barbie. We'll check it. Barbie back to pass, has some time. He's going deep. He's got a man out there, but it's broken up. Actually, I think that's an it's, interception, Tom. Actually, it's intercepted. Wow, it's a tip ball, and and that's number 35 with the interception. 35, Tyrese, Tyrese McSwain. Tyrese McSwain, who we've already called a couple of times. So it was Epps out there for Burns deep, and they've had some success with that, but not that time. Tip drill, looks like Epps. And McSwain both had their hands on the ball, but behind a scrimmage. They've got five guys on the line. They're going to run right as Trey McDowell again. Having a big game, Trey McDowell. So stops him for about a yard gain. Trey McDowell, not the biggest guy. You see him walking around the halls. 
But you know what? He's got a little nose for the football, doesn't he? And I'll tell you, he came down to my room today. We have a thing at school called Bulldog Block. I said, how's it going to go tonight? He said, we're just going to win. <laughs> well, you got to love the winning attitude. Looks like Rashawn Squeezy's been giving him a hard time on the line. T.J. Roberts, some of the other big eaters on the line are making it tough on the chase running game. They gave him nothing on that. No, they gave him two. Second and eight. Man in motion, he'll get the pitch. He looks like he lost control of the ball. Why? Get the tackle. At least hold him up so the rest of your teammates can get over there yeah, and make that. That was a tough play, a tough open field tackle. All right, we got first and ten for the Trojans. A lot of power football. I expect to see it here again. And I'm right. They run it right at us, and bam, big 59. Bryson Allen brings him down for a minimal gain, Sebastian. A.J. Potlo, number 21 for Chase Football, carrying the ball there. I tell you, Mr. Allen's stuck, and now he's down. I hope this isn't anything serious. This would be a huge blow to Burns. And we're stepping away from the action. Rhodes Ford, Hendrick Appliance, SNR Auto Sales, and West End Sales. Absolutely. We couldn't do it without you sponsors. We very much appreciate it. And right now our concern is with Bryce and Allen. Hopefully it's just a little stinger. We saw Scooter Colburn go down and and, uh, and I think it was uh, Trey McDowell also was a little shaken up. Maybe it was Trey McDowell. No, it was Jared. We're on this injury timeout if I give you a couple of stats. So for rushing for Burns, A.J. Camp is our leader with 131 yards, a 65.5 average. Uh, we have Cameron Barbie, a quarterback leader at 237 yards total. And let me interrupt you there, uh, Bryson. Good to see him on his feet. Not sure who's checked in for him. Looks like 51 Taz Swink. Chase has got it. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, sorry I had to step away. Had a little bit of a technical issue here. Uh, Sebastian, tell us what happened. We had a false start, Mr. C, while you were gone. Just a false start, backing up the chains a little bit. Okay, hopefully if you're listening to us on 1390, you'll be able to hear us. We've got a, a penalty on Chase. Let's back them up. They got a second. Oh, the man in stripe says, no, he didn't. Now they're having a discussion. Possible hit, head to helmet to the helmet. That's not what I saw. Let's see, personal foul. Yep, that's what they called, helmet to helmet hit. Well, it happened very quickly. And A defensive struggle so far. Wow. I'd really like the, the benefit of instant replay to look at that one again, Sebastian. But we don't. Power eye formation for Chase. They're probably going to run right at us again. And they do. It's 30. very comfortable in the running game. They do. They have mixed it up with a pass here or there. And they're always looking for 15, Squires, who's already got one catch and nearly had another one. Uh, but did Senior quarterback for Chase football, very comfortable in the offense, one of the highlighted leaders for them. I actually thought he had the option getting ready to set it up. He did have a little gap, probably should have pitched it out to number 35, uh, who is for Tyrese McSwain, might have gotten a pretty decent gain out of that. Just a strange looking play. It, it, it runs it for a long touchdown. I'm going to call that a 40, excuse me, a 55 yard touchdown scamper. Tom. My eyes might be deceiving me, but I might have had that as four points on the board, showing why they're the number one defense. Bradley in for the extra point. It's up and good. Nope, now they're saying no good. He missed it wide to the left. Six nothing burns. Tom, is that touchdown brought by any of our sponsors? That, brought, that touchdown is brought to you. Or touchdown by Nate Black, not TJ Roberts. Nate Black. Absolutely. Now, I was writing notes about this game, and I noticed that Burns was the number one D. And you know what I started thinking of, Tom? I started thinking of the Ravens. I started thinking of the Steelers. You can actually have winning football with a really strong defense. And maybe your offense just has to be proficient. If your defense is doing the job and putting points on the board, that's just a plus. Well, that's the danger in the triple option. That one is a little indecisive. It makes a mistake with that football. And that football's on the ground in the backfield. Somebody can scoop it up and score. And there's nobody back there. And that's what happened. So Nate Black, I um, know his parents are proud. He scampers in from about 55 yards. Now Bradley set to kick it away. Now the ball's in the air. Short kick. Looks like it's going to go out of bounds. So that's going to give Chase favorable field position. You don't want to do that, Sebastian. And you're putting your with a night like you're having a wet field, guy misses a tackle. 
Who knows, you might be able to get six right back on Burns. Let's see if uh, Bradley can get it together here. Now the ball's teed up at the 30-yard line. Referee says he can kick it, and here he goes. Ball's in the air. Much better kick this time. Drives him back all the way back to the 10-yard line. Uh, he's got a little room to run. He's around a 25 to 30 before he's pounded down there. Let's see who got him. Looks like it was number 26. I think that's Dontavious Wisden. I also had 42 Marco Russell on that tackle. 42 Marco Russell getting in on a special teams tackle. They bring the ball up to the 34-yard line. And I believe that was the last play of the first quarter. They're going to flip ends. The referees seem a little confused here. Now the Burns players are trotting off. Yes, this, the first quarter did end. So thank you for the insurance. Boston Pharmacy, Crossroads Ford, Hendrick Appliance, s &R Auto Sales, and West End Sales. All great sponsors. And again, we couldn't do this broadcast without you sponsors. We very much appreciate it. Look forward to bringing you Burns football all season. Okay, right now, folks, uh, Mr. C again is taking care of some technical difficulties. Uh, the offense for Chase is coming out, featured by number two, Gus Owens, senior quarterback. Last time he was on the field, he turned the ball over, and Burns put up six. Let's see if uh, Chase can respond. Okay, now they're telling me that they're going to have uh, station breaks with Steve Roberts because we're on 1390 uh, and 730 because of the technical difficulties some of others have had. I would say a quarterback keeper around the right side, late pitch, and he's around the end. And he's got one man to beat, that's Bradley, and he's going to scamper into the end zone for a touchdown. That Squires, who we've been watching all night, took the pitch around the right side, missed a tackle, he got by Bradley, and that's a huge play for the Trace Trojans, gets him right back into this ball game. Last series, you turn the ball over, you give Burn six. This series, you come out, you put six right on the board very quickly. As uh, we had taken a look a couple plays ago, that option. So that puts Chase ahead for the first time in the ball game. Now it's time for a station break. I'm going to send you back to Steve in the studio. We have a score. Chase seven, burn six. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He'll get it fixed. Well, we were advertised the game of defense. State. They're doing commercials. How are you going to know <laughs> I guess Steve can hear me at the at the studio. I guess they're watching. They're watching. I guess. And just so you know, my wife's saying we're coming in and out. We're real choppy. All right, we're back here from Chase High School. Chase set to kick it away after that long touchdown run. 66 yards. By Squires. Burns set to return. Looks like, is that Aaron Hill back there to receive the kick? Is that 16? Send over end kick. Looks like Scooter Colburn's got it, and he fell down at the 10-yard line. Tough break. Tough break. Wet field out there, but in high school football, once your knee touches, you're down. So that's where Burns sets up shop from the 10-yard line. So after you give up seven points there to Chase, you need your offense to respond. Your defense put points on the board for you. I'm sure Mr. Barbie want, wants to come out and lead a very long, good scoring drive that results in seven points. Burns offense trotting out onto the field. The only touchdown they've gotten is on defense. They trail 7-6 to six in the second quarter with about 11 minutes and 44 seconds to go. Chase struck quickly on the first play of their drive. Burns and their triple option set need to be careful here. They're back deep in their own end. Check, check, check. Can you hear me now? I can. Okay. 
All right, a loss of about four on that keeper by Barbie. Sets up second and very long, and Burns needs to be very careful here. They're back deep in their own den, about their own four-yard line. Barbie with a straight-ahead give. I think it's Chris McClure that's got it. We'll check the number. Minimal gain. No, that's Aaron Hill. Yes, sir, I agree. That's Aaron Hill. Got about three close to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to set up third and long with Burns backed up in its own end about the nine-yard line. I'm going to call it the 10. Looks like they've got the ball spotted right at or maybe right outside the 10-yard line. So a dangerous position here for Burns. They say we're not on the radio. It's counting. Barbie with the keeper, first down, plus yards, takes it up above the 35-yard line. Nice game for Mr. Barbie. Really patient with the football, gets those chains moving. You're getting your offense to respond. I'm going to keep you with Sebastian. Okay, now they have video back. And that's a confirmation from our fans in Kings Mountain. Video and audio is back. We are glad to have you okay. again. Okay, sorry for any technical difficulties. Huge play there for the Burns. Get, they get it out of their own end and up to the 35-yard line. Burns back in the triple option. Barbie in the shotgun. Now he's got Hill in motion, but he doesn't get it. Looks like a hand up straight up the middle. Was that 18, Chris McClure? That was 18, Chris yes, McClure. Good gain on first down, got about five. So Burns pretty content to keep it on the ground. Gain of about six on first down by McClure. Second and four for Burns. Tom, we talk week in and week out with Mr. Barbie. You wanted to see the intermediate passing game. Is tonight a night you would like to see that, or do you continue to keep it on the ground? I'm going to keep it on the ground. They've been able to move the ball on this drive. They got Epps out to the left. Hill's in motion. He doesn't get it. Barbie keeps it. He's going down for a loss. Chase was in their playbook on that one, Sebastian. They read it and put Barbie on the ground for about a five-yard loss. Absolutely. We're not fooled by any of the motion or players around Mr. Barbie. He kept it. Lost yard on that. Setting up a third and ten to go. So... It might be a passing situation, although the last third down and 11, they, you know, they chose to keep it on the ground. They're at about the 35, just outside the 35-yard line. There's their triple option set. They've got Hill and Epps to the left. Looks like K.J. Hopper's a man to the right. The passing play, Barbie's got a little time. He lets it go to the right side. K.J. Hopper's got it for a big reception. Put him up at the 45-yard line, Sebastian. And, folks, K.J. Hopper, one of our seniors and our leader, also the backup QB. It's nice to see him get involved with the offense each week. I mentioned warm-ups. Hey, why not give it to him? It's nice to see him pull the ball down. I don't know what was nicer to throw or the catch. Barbie put it on a rope, and K.J. just snared it out of the air. What a great play up to the 45-yard line. Triple option set again, which they throw or pass out of. So he looks like Hopper in motion, but he doesn't get McClure does. He's got a little running room, to, uh, and he's got about eight before he's put on the ground. Chris McClure been running the ball effectively between the tackles. And did you notice how he popped up when he's done? He is fired up for this game. He wants this victory, showing leadership right there. Well, with Miguel Burris and A.J. Camp, uh, McClure's got to step up and carry the load. Looks like Hillman's already split out to the right. Looks like there's a little confusion on the chain guard. They give McClure first down. First and ten. Pegram insurance first down for the Burns Bulldogs. In their triple option set again. It's like Hill's in motion. He doesn't get it. McClure does again. This time they bottle him up, but McClure keeps the legs going, and they'll give him about five before they put him down, Sebastian. I like to see that Barry Foster's Earl Campbell. Those guys with the big legs, the big drive. You're going to hit me, but I'm still going to take you with me. Jerome Bettis, too. like to see that. Yeah, Chris McClure not really built as big as those guys, but I'm going to tell you what. He's been in the weight room because those legs kept going, and he kept going forward. Good run, Chris McClure. We'll give him four. Call it second and six. Burns at about the 32-yard line of chase, driving. Barbie in the shotgun. Now they got trips to the left. McClure behind Barbie. 
No, it's Hill behind Barbie. Option, Hill's got the ball. Oh, he, he lost it for a moment and cut it upfield. Nice play. The ball's on the ground. The ball came out. Ball came out. I don't know who's got it. Chase has got it. What a devastating fumble there. We had a nice drive going, and, it, you know, the wet football looks like Hill struggled to, to maintain control, made a nice run, then got hit and fumbled the ball. Chase has got it. You know, I noticed when he received the ball, he was like, well, I've got this hot potato here. I don't know if his mind fully was on, you know, with many things going on at once, possibly not securing the football, turning it over. Unfortunate because that was a very effective drive for the Burns Bulldogs. Second turnover for Burns. They've had an interception and a fumble. Now the ball's about at the, at the chase. I'm calling it the 27-yard line. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the second quarter. It's a 7-6 chase lead. Division game. You want this one. Chase coming out with looking like they're going to do a little power football. Eye formation. And looks like it's going to be a penalty on Chase. Delay of game. Maybe they celebrated too long after the fumble, Sebastian. Well, if you're the Burns Bulldog, that's good. You're sending them back. Maybe if you stop them right here or they get minimal yards, you get your offense back on the field with good field position. So that backs them up first and 15 for the Trojans. Call it their 22-yard line. I don't think they're going to get away from that power of football, which they've been sticking to all night. They're in that I formation. And they pitch it out to the right side. And minimal gain. Again, that Squires. He got about three before. Looked like uh, Nate Black, Scooter Colburn, Trey McDowell, a few of the guys over there to put him down. Tom, we're in a rushing conference. J. Air McClooney for Kings Mountain as of the White side. But it just looked like the timing was a little off. The ball was in front, and he really didn't have a chance to catch it. Had he put that ball on the numbers, that was six, because there was absolutely no one covering him. He was coming at Burns with speed. Now we've got an official's timeout. Number 74, Austin Maury looks like he might be a little bit. Yeah, different. he's a little shaken up, and the refs are, are, are telling him that he needs to, to get some attention. I think he's okay. We're going to take a break. Steve Roberts, we're going to take a break. 6.50 left to go in the second quarter. Chase 7, burn 6. Thanks for listening to this Bill Schufer and Heating and Air broadcast. I hope so. Uh, during our last little bit, they could hear our chit-chat, so I, we need to be aware of that. Just watch what you say. <laughs> I mean, I mean it, it, as many things have gone wrong tonight. Yep. I mean, Make sure you hit those commercials whenever you can, since we can't run commercials. Steve is doing it. Okay. So because when, when, it, when, that, when that goes there, I think Steve has got it back at the station. Understood. My headphones, by the way, keep sounding with a noise, and they come in and out, just so you're aware. Okay. Sounds like some feedback. Or I think something. when he goes back, then they'll put it live. Okay. Chase offense coming back out onto the field for the second and 12 play. They had a man shaking up, believe he's okay. They got two wide receivers to the left, two to the right, single back set. And he's back to pass. And they got the rush, and it's almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. We got a, a Dominique Watkins very upset with himself for not coming up with that one. He had a really good shot to grab that ball. The ball was basically tossed up. Uh, just a matter of trying to secure a wet football on a very stormy night here in Cleveland. Rutherford County, actually. All right, folks, so Chase is going to be punting to the Burns Bulldogs. The Burns Bulldog with Scooter Colburn back to receive the ball. He would like to get his hands okay, on, have a decent return, give his offense a good field position to start oh, with. We, we will. We got Punts you. away. Ball's kick. It's relatively short, but a high kick. Okay, I will. Scooter Colburn calling for a fair catch right about the 40-yard line. Maybe mark that the 41 or so. So the Burns Bulldogs are the first and 10 with the football. You had a very good march down the last time. Unfortunately, you turned the ball over. This time you want to finish it off, put six, seven points on the board. When I was away there dealing with, uh, guess what, more technical issues. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to go three and out after that. You don't want the momentum to shift after that fumble. And Burns had a very nice drive, keeping the ball 
pretty much on the ground except for the very nice throw to K.J. Hopper. Now they're in their triple option. So it looks like Scooter Colburn's a little tardy getting on the field. Now he's set. McClure behind Barbie. Barbie back to pass. He looks to the right. That's where he throws it. Looks like Garrick Bradley's got it for about a four-yard gain. Nice throw, Cameron Barbie, even though it doesn't get much. Positive play on first down. And we talk about those intermediate passes. So KJ Hopper pulling down that intermediate pass, that pass. You're starting to get that timing you alluded to, Tom, a couple more games ago about getting your timing, moving the ball, getting it done in the air. Seven to six. Six minutes about left in the second quarter. Burns in their triple option with McClure behind Barbie. Looks like a wide receiver out to the left, Epps. Looks like it's Bradley in motion. He doesn't get it. McClure does, and he's breaking a tackle. He's in the open field. He's got a couple men to outrun. They catch him at about the 20-yard line. Going to give him about a 35-yard run for Chris McClure, who's starting to – Oh, excuse me, was that McClure or was that 10? I thought it was actually Aaron Hill number six. Aaron, okay, it was Aaron Hill that had Aaron Hill for a big run for the Bulldogs. Down to the 20-yard line. Burns quickly up to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 in their triple option set. Barbie going to give up to the first man through. I think that's Hill again. It is. This time minimal gain. So you know what? Coach Cincinnati is keeping me off balance. You never know who's behind Cameron Barbie. And that's a good thing for the Burns Bulldogs next man up. You hear that all the time. You're running the ball effectively. Take it. Okay, folks, well, Mr. Tom takes care of some more technical difficulties. Mr. Barbie is bringing them out of the huddle. We are looking at the ball about uh, the 18-yard line, and it is second and eight to go. Barbie steps up, foot down. And Colburn tackled in the backfield. Looks like they tried to run a little, little razzle-dazzle there with a couple fake handoffs. Didn't fool anybody. Not at all. Second time we've seen Barbie got sacked before this time. The chase is also very patient. D really getting to the ball. No gain. Third and ten. Actually lost a couple yards. This is a big play. Ball on the 20-yard line. Burns in the triple option. Looks like it's Hill again behind Barbie. Got Epps out to the left. Colburn comes in motion. Hill doesn't get it. Barbie keeps. He's got nowhere to go. They're going to get him for about a two-yard loss. Cameron Barbie try to get around the right side. Chase was waiting on him, fourth down. Nice defensive play, Chase Trojans. Absolutely. You know what I'd like to see again, though, and I know it didn't work out, but I would like to see that throw to Raheem Epps in the end zone there. Just toss it up. He's a big boy. He can bring it down for you. I know you had intercepted, you know, at the beginning of the game, but give him another shot. Would be about a 39-yard field goal. I don't think they're going to try it. And West End Sales. Thank you, sponsors. Tom, out of town, we've had a lot of storms in the area. Just Kings Mountain, the East Rutherford will pick up the action again at 7 p.m. on Monday at Gamble Stadium. They are tied 7-7 at the time of suspension at, of their game. And that's too bad. You hate for the, to get the young men there ready to play and then have to take them home. Burns with three wide receivers to the right. Looks like Colburn and uh, Colburn and Epps and Bradley are out to the left. And then it looks like Barbie's in the shotgun. So he's looking to the left the whole time and he's sacked. Big sack, and guess who it is? 15, Squires, put him on the ground. Barbie never had a chance. They take over on about their 28-yard line. Gus Owens still in at quarterback. Last couple times Burns' defense has held. Let's see what Chase, they got Blake Pryor out wide to the right. Now somebody's calling a timeout, so Chase Trojans. So with 4 minutes, 14 seconds left to go, it's still Chase 7, Burn 6 on our scoreboard. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. This broadcast brought to you by Bill Schieffert Heating and Air. And the pregame, which we didn't have <laughs> because we had technical difficulties, but uh, Kevin and Calvin came over here and got it going for us. Thanks, guys. That was supposed to be brought to us by Stamey Tysinger uh, Funeral Home of Falston. Our halftime will be brought to you by Carter Chevrolet. The post game uh, will be brought to you by the Transportation Administration of Cleveland County. Our players to watch are brought to you by Aura Supermarket. Our first down is by Pegram Insurance. On offense, we have Cameron. It's about four or five. And we have a player down. Unfortunately, that might be number 43, Nate Black, who's a little bit doubled over there. 
Uh, also, Mr. T, I know we're trying to let these high school players play, but I saw holding there on Mr. Black there uh, by Chase. But he is now getting up under his own power. Uh, we are in a bit of a timeout, injury timeout. We got a timeout now for an injury. We're going to step away for a moment. We'll be right back on this Bill Shuford Heating and Air uh, broadcast. Don't go anywhere. All right, we, we've got the chase player It looks to be up under his own power. Well, now, number th now, number 30, guess what? Number 30 is T.J. Roberts. So uh, Nate Black and T.J. Roberts with fumble recoveries, both in coming in plays where the chase quarterback little, looked a little confused and Burns benefits. And also Burns benefits with field position. And that's a good thing. You want to get your offense on the field. Again, Mr. Barbie wants to lead them. Not to fumble, not to turn it over. You want to put seven points on the board. It looks like Hill's going to be behind Barbie in that triple option set. Looks like, to my side, looks like Epps and Colburn. And now we've got a motion man. I think that's Bradley. And Hill's got it. And he's powering ahead. And he gets about nine. Nice run, Aaron Hill. Absolutely. Aaron Hill's been stepping up for you tonight. Uh, and that's what you want to see. Again, next man up. If you've got a couple of those featured running backs uh, are are not in the game tonight. Time becoming a bit of a factor. At three minutes and 34 seconds, I'm going to call it second and one. I think that's Hillman already split to the right, and Garrick Bradley's out there with him. On my side, over here to the left, it's Epson Colburn with Aaron Hill behind Barbie. Colburn in motion. Now Barbie looks a little confused. Side steps the defender. Penalty marker down. Pass is complete to Epps around the 15, but we got to check the flag. Waiting on the referees to tell us what's going on, but they are moving the chains. Maybe it is on chase, Mr. C. No. I might have made a mistake. No penalty flag on that play. We're going to move it up to the 15. Mr. Epps with a nice reception and first down. That's a Pegram Insurance first down. And now the refs are saying there's a timeout. They're signaling towards Chase. So we've got a timeout. We're going to take a break on this Bill Shuford Heating and Air broadcast. Burns driving with three minutes and 15 seconds left to go. But it's Chase 7, Burns 6. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we're back. First and 10, Raheem Epps just hauled in a Cameron Barbie pass on the left side and got us up to the 15-yard line. We need to score here. Need to finish off this drive. Looks like it's still Aaron Hill behind Barbie. Epps and Colburn to the left. Two wide receivers to the right as well. Barbie's rolling to his right. Looks like he's got a little run room. He'll keep it, and he's around to the 10, and before he's knocked out of bounds. For about a four-yard gain, Sebastian. Good decision-making, not turned over. I actually saw a receiver right around the goal line. He could have targeted. However, that receiver was covered. Mr. Barbie, with a wise decision, lives to fight for another play. Well, it, it looked like there was more room over there than it ended up, from my vantage point. Got Hillman and Bradley are out to the right, and it's still Colburn and Epps to the left, and it's still Hill behind Barbie. And now here comes, I believe it's Bradley. He doesn't get it. Aaron Hill does, and he powers. He's still going. He's down to about the five-yard line. So let's see where they'll spot it. Hill again with some power football between the tackles. And they're moving that yardstick to around, I'm going to call it the seven. They've got 15 yard. Now they've changed it. They've got it on the seven. It's third and three, and this is huge. Absolutely. Hillman out to the right. And you know where I'm going with the football, Mr. C. I'm giving it to Aaron Hill. Absolutely. But I'm in the booth, and there's a reason for that. I don't know a whole lot. 
He's in the shotgun. Now he's going to call a timeout. <laughs> Okay, we're back. This huge third, and we're calling it two. All right, Sam, has a third and two. Looks like Burns feels comfortable going with Aaron Hill in that backfield. They're changing it up a little bit. Now they've got three men in the backfield. Can't tell who exactly is out there. I know Aaron Hill's one of them. But it looks like an old Texas-Oklahoma wishbone in the back. And Cameron Barbie's going to hand it off and Chase is all over. Called for Burns. So we have a timeout on this Bill Schufer Heating and Air broadcast. We have a fourth and four. We can get a Pegram Insurance first down without scoring. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. Or, or spread triple option with Hill behind Barbie. This time they got trips though. They've got trips to the right. Single back set. Barbie's got it. And he's looking for Epps and it's incomplete. So another uh, Burns drive stalls on the incomplete. See what Chase does with a minute and 29 seconds. I think they'll be pretty content to run it up the middle and go in to halftime with a 7-6 to six lead. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. Man in motion four, and they hand it right up the middle. Burns has got him for a short gain. Looks like Scooter Colburn was there. Looks like number two. Tass Wink, number 51. Tass Wink, Jaron Hamrick. So we'll give him about a three-yard gain. Second and six. Chase in no hurry, Sebastian. And they hot low with a carry there. And that is Tariq James, number one. He is playing tonight. He helps Colburn bring him down. So the clock stops with 43.5 seconds to go on the first down. And interesting to see if Chase will put it up here, Sebastian. If I'm the Chase coach, I'm not. I'm going to keep it on the ground. I'm going to try and wear down Burns' defense. 35 seconds left to go. Chase going to run a little more power football, it looks. And yes, that's what they do right up the middle. Burns is all over it. Well, he's fighting for yards. They give him about three or four before Nate Black and some. Burns six. Thanks for listening to this Bill Schubert heating and, uh, heating and Air broadcast on KTC. The Carter Chevrolet halftime show will be with you in about five minutes. Thank you. Don't go anywhere.
Well, we're back with you for a few moments here on this uh, Carter Chevrolet halftime show. Chase High marching band on the field. We're doing a little halftime uh, presentation. Interesting ready? costumes they're wearing. This is why you got to come out and watch a little high school football. The band at halftime. It's worth the trip. It's worth the ticket. Uh, seven to six here in a defensive struggle. Burns' is only touchdown coming on a Nate back fumble recovery of about 55 yards. And getting it into the end zone, Garrett Bradley does not convert the extra point. At that point, it was 6 nothing. On the next possession, Bruce Squires took it around the right side for a 65-yard touchdown. Chase converted their extra point, and it's 7-6. to six. Other than that, it's been a lot of power football by Chase. Waiting on Chris Glover to come down here and give us some stats. But, uh, it, you know, Chase very content to get in that eye formation. Power football, mixed success. They have turned it over, uh, you know, but they also have moved the ball. And it seems like both teams so far have done a good job stopping themselves. And I'm burnt defense, Mr. Tom. Uh, I, I, I'm going to make them beat me, and then I'm going to help Mr. Barbie and the offense get going because if I'm on defense and burns, I personally think this game is something I can win. I can stop them. They have not impressed me that much with that power formation, Chase. They are confident running it. They do want to run it. But you've gotten some turnovers uh, if you're Burns defense. What you need is your partner there. You need your offense to step up. You've given them good field position. You've given them the ball. You want to see them convert. So, you know, in this second half, I'd like to see Burns mix it up a little bit. They've had some nice throws. Barbie's had a couple of nice throws. One very nice one to the outside to K.J. Hopper. Another first down conversion to Raheem Epps on the left side. So that intermediate uh, passing game that I've been talking about has been getting a little better, a little more accurate. And there's been, you know, Barbie throws a nice looking football. Absolutely. I mean, he, he you know, and he, he's put it on the money a couple of times. That fourth down where I, I think he stared down Epps a little bit. It's obvious, you know, they had Epps out there by himself on the left side. And that's who he really wanted. That's kind of his go-to guy. Stared him down. And, and I think Chase was able to read the play and, 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 you know, the play never really had a chance. And, Burns was down inside, you know, the, the red zone there. They got it all the way down, you know, to around the 10-yard line and can't convert. So, you know, we've got to start finishing off some of these drives because, you know, we have been successful moving the football. Just when we get inside the red zone, we've seen this, uh, you know, against Hunter Huss, that we bogged down and have not converted as many of those drives as we so you've been off for a little bit. You've been hitting guys that are in your own jersey. That's not the same as playing against another team. Here you're live tonight. Uh, you, you're a little bit rusty. You're a little off time. Uh, and so you just want to get everything together you can. Maybe we'll see a good second half of the Burns offense. Well, we'll see what they do. I'd like to see them, like I said, mix it up a little bit. I, I think that a confidence issue that Barbie's confidence will grow with every completed pass. I, I really think the nice throws to, to Hopper and then to Epps will give him some confidence. Uh, what I'm not liking that I see is the penetration by the Chase defense. They've gotten in there and they've put Barbie on the ground for a couple tack tackles for loss. You know, not a whole lot he can do about it. You know, those Chase defenders were in the backfield. And he, and he makes a wise decision. Now, we've seen on the other side of the ball with Chase, you know, some late pitches, some ill-advised pitches end up in the hands of Burns Bulldogs. And that's where the two turnovers came from. Uh, so he has not been making those errant pitches. And, and you know, uh, with uh, Black taking it in uh, for that touchdown, if a ball's on the ground in that triple option and somebody scoops it up, there, there's nobody in between them and the end zone. So, you I mean, you can have a really, really, you know, devastating turn of events if you put that ball on the ground. Uh, but they have been able to keep Barbie bottled up in the run game. And, and, you know, Barbie's had some success this year running the football. So I'd like to see him to get loose a little bit. But, you know, let's give a little credit to the Chase defense. They really haven't had a lot of it. And they've been doing a pretty good job of, of holding firm when they need to. Uh, their offense that they see week in and week out every day of practice is also the triple option. So if you kind of run in the same offense and your defensive practices it against, uh, you sort of start to get the idea, hey, this is where they're going to go with the ball. You're studying the film uh, during the week. You see what Mr. Barbie can do. So absolutely, you're going to take some risks, uh, be confident in what your coaching staff is found on tape, and you're going to go after Mr. Barbie. You know, he's, he's a human just like everybody else. Well, we'll see what Burns has in the second half. 
If you can hear the crowd, Mike, that's the Chase High marching band. Very colorful costumes. <laughs> and an interesting presentation. Interesting I've actually been watching thing. it while we've been talking. Uh, they are going to Chicago, if you did not hear. Uh, they're a very celebrated band in the area. And, uh, you know, you, you have to love, you know, the atmosphere of high school football. That uh, that's why one of the reasons why you come to the game is that these these high school bands, you know, I know because I've been a high school teacher for 19 years. These band kids work hard. They come in the summertime. They practice marching all in when it's 95 degrees, and you know they work hard every day in, in their band period, getting this stuff to look right. And I'm sure it's no different here at uh, Chase High School. And uh, they got themselves a good looking band. So uh, a little tribute to the band, a little shout out to the Chase band. Uh, good job. Uh, we're going to step away for just a couple minutes. I want to remind you this halftime half uh, show has been brought to you by Carter Chevrolet. We've not been able to uh, run a whole lot of commercials because of our technical difficulties, but we do want to remind folks that Carter Chevrolet has made this possible, and they're located right there in Shelby. Uh, do a good job providing service for the Shelby area for a lot of years, and you're not in business in a small town like Shelby for a lot of years unless you do a good job because people talk about you. <laughs> so it's all word you, of mouth. You know, it's all word of mouth around around Shelby. So we'd like to thank those folks for bringing the. Uh, the halftime uh, show, and if you need a, in need of a new vehicle, you got a vehicle you want to trade and get yourself a new vehicle. I'm sure they got a good line of uh, used vehicles for you to choose from. Get on over there to Carter Chevrolet, and they'll take care of you. I'm going to step away for just a moment. Six minutes and five seconds left until kick kickoff. We'll be back on this Bill Shuford Heating and Air broadcast. Don't go anywhere. Okay, some scores from around the area. We got Crest 14, Drone 0. No surprise. Kings Mountain and East Rutherford suspended. Yes, sir. Until Monday. Shelby up 35, RS 7. So local area teams that are playing are doing very well. Chase High. I, mean, we, we, I turned the crowd mic on there just a little bit so you can enjoy the rest of the Chase High band if you're listening at home. Looks like they're getting the stuff off the field and we'll be ready to go here in about another three minutes and 30 seconds we're going to step away for just a moment thanks for listening to the carter chevrolet po uh halftime show brought to you on this bill schubert heating and air broadcast please don't go anywhere second half kickoff coming up in about three minutes
About 48 seconds left until kickoff. Burns out on the field warming up. Welcoming you back at a about a one hour and 20 minute lightning delay, which is why we're still on, why this broadcast isn't about to wind up, and why we're still bringing you football. And hopefully we'll get this thing started. I guess they say halftime wasn't long enough yet. So I'm going to step away on this Bill Shuford Heating and Air broadcast brought to you on KTC. Thank you to Carter Chevrolet for sponsoring this halftime presentation. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So, bringing you a little education here. Jeff Murray, who's a very seasoned official, has told me that at, at halftime, when halftime ends, there has to be three more minutes put on the clock for a warm-up period. And, Sebastian, I guess I'm too busy running my mouth. I've never noticed that they I, have to have that. I can't say I noticed that either, but we learn something new every day. We learn something new every day. So, uh, Mr. Murray's reminding me, don't yell at the refs. When you don't know what you're talking about, which which is a which is a pretty good saying to go by, <laughs> I think he agrees. There was something about a flag being thrown at you there too. <laughs> There's probably going to be other things thrown at me before I leave today, but we're going to stay right here. We got about a minute 37, 36 or so left in this warm up period that follows halftime. Tom, can I throw some stats at you, please? Throw, throw them at me. Okay, so Chase has 59 yards rushing, 17 passing. Mr. Barbie has thrown five times and completed three for in one interception. He's got a total of 30 yards. Uh, number 18 is uh, McClure, and he has rushed four times for 25 yards. Aaron Hill, 551, and Scooter Colburn rushed once for minus two. So as you can tell by those numbers, not a tremendous amount of offense. Sporadic, I would call it. Sporadic offense. Or some drives would get going and then sputter out. You know, Chase had the big play. It wasn't on a drive. They had the big play, like 65-yard run for a touchdown. And then we had the big play, a 55-yard fumble, fumble return for a touchdown. So both plays score, both teams scoring on a big play, which kind of indicates that those are, that's the only score. And you haven't been able to, either you haven't been able to sustain the drive or you haven't been able to finish it off. And we've seen Burns get down in, deep into uh, Chase territory. One time they had a fumble, and the other time turn it over on downs. So, really, Burns could be way ahead if they would finish off the drive, but they haven't, and give some credit to Chase causing that fumble and stopping Burns on fourth down. So, you know, the, the Chase defense has been doing its job. I think both defense have been doing the job. However, on the offensive side of the ball, this is a story we see every week. Uh, and you're starting to end in the conference games. You need to start punching those in when you get the opportunity. And, you know, I would like to see what this Burns offense is capable of at full strength when they get A.J. Camp back, when they get Miguel Burris back, when they get Zach Leslie back. You know, and we, we, we talked about continuity and timing and working together in a triple option offense. It takes a lot of practice, we know. Uh, but when we start getting some of these guys back, and, you know, they're playing on both sides of the ball. You know, it's going to make a difference. But for now, you know, you, you, well, they say you got to play the hand you're dealt. You got injuries, you got injuries. When the kids get better and it's safer and to play, they'll be back out there. But for now, we got to run what you run. And if we're a little thin, then we got to deal with it. What, uh, what do you think Coach Sensony might have told his troops when he was over there talking? Hey, you know, I'd like to think that he told them that, you know, keep your heads up, keep playing hard. You got fighting hard. You're seeing good hard runs by a lot of these players. Uh, I think he, he's probably emphasizing we need to stay focused and finish off these drives, and we could be well ahead. Now, Chase set to kick off. Not sure who's set to put his foot into it. Can't see his number. But it looks like for us, Scooter Colburn is one of the men back deep. Aaron Hill's in the middle. Preston Walker. Uh, it might have changed there. Preston Walker not doing the kickoff. And I think it's Tariq James. On the right side, can't tell. And the ball squirts to about the two-yard line. Hill's got to pick it up. Here he comes. 
He's going to make something out of nothing. He's, he's broken free. He's, and then he's shoestring tackle there. Oh, my gosh, Sebastian. I thought he was going to run for a long way. And then a chase defender makes a nice open field tackle around the 31-yard line. He'll let it come to a rest at the one. Picked it up. Looked like he was going to be stopped deep inside his own end. And he ends up with about a 33-yard return. And I'd like to apologize. That was number 18 for Chase. Lasana Fafana over the kick. A good deep kick. He picked up the ball. Did look like he was going to be tackled way back, or at least have difficulty, but he managed to turn something that gave wow. his offense good field position. Explosive play by Aaron Hill. Now we've got Burns in the triple option. It's Epps out here wide to the left. I believe that's Scooter Colburn with him, too, to the right as well. Handoff straight up the middle. I think that's Aaron Hill that's going to power ahead for about three. Yes, sir. And that's worked for you. Mr. Hill's broken some things. He's making some things happen. Well, we're going to give him four. Up to about the third, throwing up the middle of the chase defense for about three or four more. He's going to set up third and three. It looks like Coach Cincinnati wants to establish that run game again in the second half. Tom, you know what I'm not seeing out of the triple option is a lot of movement, a lot of deception. It seems like, hey, we're going to line up, we're going to hand off the ball. We're almost doing what Chase is doing uh, without much movement going on. You know, just hammer it right at him. You know, if you can't stop me, I'm going to run it right at you. It's triple option set again. No one in the mouth. Definitely looks like that's what he told him, and it's worked so far. It earns him that Pegram insurance first down. And now Burns coming set. It looks like we've seen a steady dose of Aaron Hill. Now we've got trips to the left, wide receiver also to the right, Hill behind Barbie. I think they're going to throw it, and they do. Barbie's back. He's got time. He fires over to the right side. Man is out there, and it's off his fingertips. Can't tell who was out there. It was Tariq James. Tariq James. Now, I have to tell you, I really liked that play call. I really liked the throw. It was unfortunate. It was off his tips, but I thought it was a well-executed play and almost put six on the board. Barbie throws a pretty football, and he put some air up into it. It looked like Tariq James had a step on the defender over there, but just couldn't haul it in. But I like the aggressiveness. You had Aaron Hill hit him for a couple. And it seems like Burns likes to do that. They like to isolate a guy on one side or the other and then test that corner over there. Now the triple option set. Barbie's got it. He's going to give it to Hill again. And he squirts in the middle for a couple. Give him three. And now you've got an interesting decision here. Again, you're in plus territory. You're at the 43. You're at third and seven. It's two down territory, Sebastian. Absolutely. And we have not mentioned, but how about those guys on the line that are creating holes there for Mr. Hill? Uh, we've got guys like Austin Birch, Noah Sanders, those beef eaters, as you like to call them. The big eaters. Big the eaters. big eaters. The big eaters up front. Is, uh, yeah, I do call them that a lot. And they'll admit to that. So we've got Epps, Bradley, and Colburn to the left. Barbie's in the shotgun. He's looking to the right. Look like he's looking for James. Now he's around the right side. He's got a little running room. He squirts up the sideline, and he's got about a 12-yard run. Nice play, Cameron Barbie. Absolutely, and you like to see your offense giving your quarterback a chance to actually get down because we saw in the first half, Chase was in the backfield a couple times on Mr. Barbie. Mr. Barbie was actually able to turn the corner there and move those sticks. He was able to get himself. He really just wormed himself through those defenders over there and ended up with a nice run around the right side. So we got Hillman over there to the right. We got trips to the left. Looks like K.J. Hopper's out there with Raheem Epps. And Barbie in the shotgun. And guess what? Aaron Hill's got three or four yards with Aaron Hill up the middle on first down. <laughs> you keep doing it until they stop it. Trips to the left now. Hill again behind Barbie. Barbie's got it. And Hill is, gets the handoff. And he powers more, more like three and a half. So Burns again approaching the red zone. They're in there for a triple option with two to the left and two to the right. Epps and Colburn to my side. And again, Hill gets it, and he won't get the first down. Chase knocks him down after about a one-yard gain. But you know this is four-down territory. Burns is going to go for it. Absolutely, but this is that situation you keep finding yourself in. You're within the side of 30 of the opposition. You want to put six on the board. You need to build that confidence like we talked about during half game. So they, they give Aaron Hill nothing, so it's, it's fourth and three. Now they give him a yard, fourth and call. Coach Cincinnati makes them think. We've thrown out of that formation a lot. They change it up. They run Aaron Hill right up the middle. And it's a first down. Absolutely, and there you go. There's a confidence builder. Hey, we got some. Aaron Hill again. Now, Barbie looks like he might be changing the play. Now he's got the ball. He's going to throw. He's rolling. 
He looks to the right side. Ball's out there. Penalty flag. Tariq James is out there. Ball's incomplete. Let's see what the flag is. I think it's going to be defensive holding. Yeah, absolutely. Tariq James trying to get to the ball. Just could not get free. The guy was holding on to him. Well, if it's holding, it's a five yard. If it's interference, it's a 15 yard. Depends on if the ball was in the air. So Mr. Referee's going to come explain it to me. I think. Holding is the call. Holding against Chase. And that's an automatic Pegram insurance first down. Uh, I think Blake Pryor might have been the guy. No, I'm sorry. That's going to be 24. Rashad Wilkins who's going to be guilty. Going to get it again around the left side. Got a little room for him. He's knocked down. The ball's ball. loose. The ball is loose. I can't see. Got look like a Burns Bulldog got on it, but I can't tell. They're going to stop the clock and unpile this. Ball came out. Hill was fighting for yards. Approached the end zone. Ball came out. Looked like K.J. Hopper was down there to get on it. Burns is saying they've got the ball. Burns does have the ball. They recover. Fortunate. Woo. fortunate. Woo. Very fortunate to get back on top of that. Looked like uh, Chase defender raked the ball out of uh, Aaron Hill, and he dove for it, but I can't tell who got on top of it. Burns retains possession. That's the most important thing. And Hill a little shaken up, holding his arm. Yeah, Aaron, uh, Aaron Hill's holding his wrist, but, uh, you know, you got the ball back. You defended what you gained. Uh, you want to get in the end zone right here. Second and goal from about the two. And let's see what we've got. We've got trips to the right, Epps out to the left. Barbie's got the ball. Again, it's to Aaron Hill who's knocked backwards, and a flag comes in. Not sure what the flag is on. Oh. Refs will sort this one out. But Aaron Hill was smacked right as he got to the line of scrimmage. He didn't get anything, Sebastian. No, Mr. Hill seemed to be pretty upset about something. So let's see what the referees are calling here. So we've got holding against Burns. And that is an absolutely devastating penalty. You had the ball inside the three, about the two-yard line, and now you're at the 12. Holding calls a drive killer, Sebastian. Absolutely, drive coaches nuts. You hear that at every level of football. So now it'll be second and goal from about the 12. They've got third on the board, but it's going to be second down as that down doesn't count. Looks like we got trips to the right. Barbie in the shotgun. Epps out here to the left. And Barbie's going to keep it. He's around the left side. He's got a little room before they knock him down. They closed very quickly, did the chase Trojans and knock Barbie down after about maybe a one or two yard game, Sebastian. Absolutely, I'd like to see them, Mr. Barbie keeping the ball in his hands. He is an offensive leader uh, and trying to make things happen. Chase, excellent job on D to stop him. Now really, he got, he got really nothing on that. So it's gonna be third and goal from the 12. Burns behind the eight ball a little bit here. They've been down here before and haven't been able to get it in. Definitely two down territory. Don't know if Coach uh, Cincinnati is thinking, let's score on this play, or he's thinking to go half and half running play and then get a little closer. I see you getting the end zone. Barbie's got it looking over to the right. Now he's rolling over there. He's signaling to a wide receiver. He's able to get around the corner. Barbie close. Oh, and he's hammered down at about the four-yard line. But I'll tell you what, Cameron Barbie, tough kid, got right back up. After he was just leveled at about the four-yard line, Sebastian. Tom, I know we're on the other side of the field, but to me that actually looked like he was hit out of bounds. And I saw 16 Aaron Hill signaling for the flag, which I personally don't like to see. But in that particular case, I don't know. That hit looked a little bit late and out of bounds to me. Well, it did. That might be through biased eyes. Because I have them myself. <laughs> on that Dominique Watkins defense earlier. It looked, it looked like a clean play. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to take a break. Chase seven, burn six. Critical fourth down and goal here for Burns. Thank you for listening to this Bill Schufert Heating and Air broadcast. I'd like to thank some of our other sponsors while we have the chance. Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home of Falston. Carter Chevrolet, who brought you the halftime show. Uh, Transportation Administration of Cleveland County will be bringing you the postgame show. Aura Supermarket's been bringing you the players of the game. Pegram Insurance for your first downs. Falston Pharmacy for our touchdowns. Crossroads Fords of Shelby. Hendrick Appliance of Shelby who sponsor our players of the game along with s &R Auto Sales and West End Sales in Vail, another one of our sponsors. Go see these fine folks. They're the ones that make football possible, these football broadcasts possible.
So it looks like, what, let's see what Burns comes up with here. Little wishbone, didn't work last time. But they're gonna go back to it. The ball's on the right, uh, on the right hash. So they can't run, they got a little room to run around to the left. They've been running straight ahead a lot. Barbie with a toss, they do run it to the left. It's Aaron Hill, but he's gonna get around the corner and he's gonna be stopped at the two yard line. Hill got about two yards, but Chase is able to knock him down. Sebastian, once again, a Burns drive, penetrates deep into Trojan territory, but they come away empty. Now I have to ask you there, Tom, do you feel the holding sets you back, but you did do a lot of good things. Can you build off that, or you're saying to yourself, you know what, the name of the game here is to put some points. In my opinion, you need to put some points on the board. You didn't get that done, uh, and so right now you're still looking as an offense of what you're going to do, how you're going to put your signature on this game. 7-6 in the third quarter, 4.39 to go. You need to score. And we've had some help up here in the press box for some other folks. I've uh, been told that was a seven-and-a-half-minute drive. And they don't come away with anything tough. But Chase is backed up. They're going to run right at us. Yep, quarterback sneak, and they get about a yard. Boom, somebody hit him right there at the line of scrimmage. And they drive him back. K.J. Hopper. Looks like K.J. Hopper. Scooter Colburn. Also. Scooter Colburn. T.J. Roberts. Fast wink. Looked like a whole host of Bulldogs said hello on that one, and not in a nice way. We were advertised a defensive battle. Uh, we're seeing that maybe not so much a defensive battle, but more two offenses that are struggling instead of a defensive. Finishing off the drive. You got to finish your drives. Second and nine. They give them a yard. Chase up to the line. Looks like they're going to run right at us again. They got a man split out to the left. Yeah, they do. They run right at us. Brief hole. He got about four or five before he was able to knock him down. Looked like Jaron Hamrick, Scooter Colburn. A couple folks knock him down over there. About the 12. Is that a flag on the play? Let's hope it's holding on Chase. See if the official's going to give me a call here. Here he comes. Illegal shift. Chase Trojan. So that'll back him up. It'll be a half the distance to the goal line situation. That'll put him on the four-yard line, Sebastian. So at this point, you're looking at a uh, second down play. Uh, you want to hold them right here. You want to keep them deep again, give your offense another shot. I like, the, the game. I like the acceptance of the penalty. It would have been third and short, and now it's second and 11. So there was a hole that opened up on the right side, uh, but that play is negated. And I got a feeling that we're going to see a quarterback sneak here. No, a direct handoff, though, right at us again. He breaks free. And got the penalty yardage back, plus a couple extra yards. That was 17, Mark Lattimore. And on the tackle, I think, was number 30, T.J. Roberts. T.J. Roberts knocked him down. It looked like Lattimore was going to run for a while. But then T.J. is able to knock him down. So we got a big third down here. Big third down. If you're Chase, you definitely want to keep the ball and keep running this clock. Third and three. If you're Burns, you need a stop because if you get a stop here, Sebastian, you're going to get good field position. So Burns going here with four men around the line of scrimmage. Oh, and it looks like a bobble play, busted play. Who's in there to get the sack? 43, Nate Black again. Nate Black with a sack after the bobbled snap. Player down. And now we've got another player down. It looks like one of the linemen for Chase. Hopefully the young man's okay. While the training staff checks him out, we'll take a break. You're listening to High School Football, brought to you by Bill Schufert, Heating and Air of Shelby, on KTC. Don't go anywhere.
We're back on this Bill Schufert Heating and Air broadcast. Gus Owens, who's been doing the signal calling for the Chase Trojans tonight, a little shaken up. Some of us here in the press box thinks maybe he fell on the ball, maybe got that wind knocked out of him. Hopefully so. Hopefully the young man's okay. And the nice folks here, uh, Tom and Chase, are telling me in my ear that their possible backup is number 12, Tiger McSwain. That, that, that's not confirmed, and we hope this young man gets up because he's had a heck of a football game. Well, he's been playing hard, but he bobbled the snap, and then Nate Black rudely slung him to the ground for about a five-yard loss, pins him inside the two. And when Mr. Owens is able to get himself up, which hopefully he will in the next moment or so, Chase is going to have to punt this ball from the shadow of their own goalpost. So this is going to be something, you know, interesting call for, for Burns. You might go after the punt, Sebastian. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe special teams is what you've got. Defense that gave you some points. Maybe special teams also puts up points. Uh, if that doesn't happen, you need your offense to get that touchdown right here, Tom. So Burns has moved the football effectively and has had several drives. I want to say the Aaron Hill fumble probably came just outside the red zone, and then two, two drives died inside the red zone. So you've had the ball threatening three times. Did we not have a fumble, though, down towards the goal line that Aaron Hill did pick up right there around the one, two? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about in the first half we had a fumble. We were driving, and Aaron Hill had a fumble. And then uh, Owens is up under. It looks to be they're helping him a little. I'll call it largely under his own power. He's walking off, so it looks like he's holding his arm. Hopefully the young man's okay. Especially for a senior player. You know, you've, you've gone to school for four years. You've been on the ball club. You've shown up in the summer. Uh, everyone wants to see a senior have an excellent year and enjoy that last year of high school. So now it looks like number nine's in the punt for Chase. Or maybe it's eight. Looks like number nine. Yeah, number nine, Preston Walker. Back to punt. Looks like Scooter Colburn set to return it for Burns. He's standing about his own 38-yard line. Excuse me, the Chase 38-yard line. I don't know, James. I think I let him kick it. I think I let him kick it and try to get a return. I don't want to risk a penalty here. And that looks like what they do. They set up a return, and it's kind of an end over end kick. Not very far, but it takes a very favorable chase bounce, and Colbert backs off. So Chase catches a break. Ball's at the 45-yard line. They give him 43 yards on the punt. Nice job by Walker getting it out of there. And still excellent field position for Burns at the Chase 45-yard line. So again, Sebastian, they're in plus territory. Absolutely, uh, and we you know we sound like a broken record here, but it's the truth. You got the weapons, uh, you got the time, you've got a quarterback and get it done. You need to execute and get it done. Let's see if Sanders and Birch and some of the other folks can open up some nice holes here again for. I want to say that's Chris McClure in the game, but I can't tell. We'll get you a number in a second. It's like Bradley's in motion, and he gets the pitch off the left side. Got a little bit of room, but it closes down quickly. He's hammered down by Treston Abrams. So Bradley for about a two-yard game. You know, the way Bradley was running with that football, I'm actually glad that he's jumping up of his own power. He was very upright with that ball and got hit pretty high. Second and I'll call it nine. Give him about a yard on the carry. Here comes Hillman, who's going to stay out to the right. Here comes Barbie. To the huddle. We'll probably see their familiar to the left, to the right, triple option set. It's Epps and Colburn over here on the left side. Barbie's got it. He's looking to the right. Now the pocket's collapsing, and he's going to be sacked. Lost about three yards. Sebastian, that play never really had a chance. Looked like everybody was covered downfield. I'll be honest with you, Tom. I was actually watching Mr. Barber, and something I thought was interesting, a great sign of a good quarterback. He was looking downfield. He sensed the pocket was collapsing. He started to get himself out. He just had nowhere to go. He tried to step up away from the pressure, but stepped right into a chase defender. Really didn't have a chance. Third and 11, and this is not a good situation for Burns. We got three wide receivers to the right. Barbie's in the shotgun. He's got it. McClure's over there. Gives a block for Barbie. He's got a little room around the right side. And wow, K 
Cameron Barbie with a fantastic run. I saw that where he stepped and looked like he caught another gear, spun away from a defender, and got a Pegram insurance first down. And that spin was everything. He was three yards short of the sticks. He got that little spin and dove for the first down. Nice run, Cameron Barbie. And that moves the ball to the 34-yard line. You've been here before, though. Time for it. Barbie overthrown by maybe a yard. Sebastian, he was open. They almost had it. Almost a touchdown. He almost had it. You know, we've seen, though, uh, today Coach is opening up that playbook a little bit. We are seeing some shots down the field, which we have not seen in the, in the games we have covered here on KTC. They like the matchup they have over there with Tariq James. Good-looking pass over there. Buddy. I'm giving him three. Call it third and seven. And Burns is going to be content to let this wind down. So that's the end of a Burns-dominated third quarter, which doesn't result in any points. And you're listening to Burns High Football on KTC Broadcasting. We've got a score of Chase 7, Burns 6. You're listening to KTC Broadcasting, sponsored by Bill Shuford Heating and Air. Other sponsors tonight we'd like to thank Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home of Falston, Carter Chevrolet, Transportation Administration of Cleveland County, Aura Supermarket of Shelby, Pegram Insurance of Shelby, Falston Pharmacy, Crossroads Ford of Shelby, Hendrick Appliance of Shelby, s &R Auto Sales of Shelby, and West End Sales in Vail, North Carolina. Thank you. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. And we're back on KTC. A quarter totally dominated by Burns. Chase ran a total of four plays. Don't have all the offensive stats, but Burns probably had close to 80 yards of offense and probably held the ball 10 minutes, but come away with nothing. Now it's on the Chase Trojans. Big play, nice throw, Cameron Barbie, but an even nicer catcher catch by Tariq James, who had to adjust slightly back for that ball. But still, nice throw and catch, first down. Showing you what a big target is. So I'm going to finish my point here. It looked like Chase defense is starting to get tired. It's like body blow after body blow after body blow. you got to knock the guy out when you've got him up. You know, when you got him against the ropes, give him that punch. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. Kind of reminds you, you were not talking about that old school football. You know, three, and then you just punch him in once that defense gets tired. You sort of pull away. And hopefully Burns can do that. Well, in a game dominated, or that quarter was really dominated by Burns in times of possession. And like you said, it wore the chase defense down. Now, Garrick Bradley on for a, a, an important extra point because at least if Chase does man, it would force them to make their extra point to go ahead. Uh, we're not going for an extra point. We're going for two. We got trips to the... Bradley made up for missing that extra point. He caught the two-point conversion. So great job, Cameron Barbie and Garrick Bradley to get the two-point conversion and put us up seven. It's now 14-7. to seven. Burns with about 11 and a half left to go in the game. You're listening to this Bill Shuford and Heating and Air broadcast on KTC. Uh, that touchdown by Aaron Hill, again, a five-yard touchdown run, set up by the Tariq James catch and the penalty, subsequent face mask penalty, and that's what resulted in a false, Falston Pharmacy touchdown for Burns. Now Chase has got to gather themselves a little bit. They really got smacked in the mouth in that third quarter. So they need to keep the ball and keep, you know, keep it out of Barbie's and hands, uh, Barbie and Hill and others' hands if they expect to get back in this football game. If you're a Burns fan like us, you want to see a quick three and out, Sebastian. Well, what's the status of Gus Owens? You know, he last drive, he came up pulling up a little bit. But you're going to have to put in your backup quarterback. Do you see him on the sideline? I'm, looking, see, for I'm looking for I don't see him. Bradley's got his foot into it. It's going to come down about the 15. Little return setup. He's got a little crease which closes very quickly. Looked like 34 got him. That's Jack Willis, the freshman. Jack Willis with the special teams play. And 
Chase will take over at the 35-yard line. First and 10. Tom, I'm looking and it is number 12. It's number 12, Tiger McSwain. So Owens knocked out of the game by that hard hit by Nate Black. Well, actually, Tiger McSwain does not look like he's lining up as a quarterback there. Let's see what we got. Let's see where they break the huddle. 35. 35 is in it, quarterback. Run a little wildcat. They got trips to the right. McSwain in at quarterback, and he's got the snap and fakes the hand up, stumbled a bit, but now he's got a little room over the right, left side. Excuse me, he's knocked down after about a five yard gain. Flag Penalty up. flag. I think this one's coming back. I think it's holding against Chase. He got a new quarterback in who hasn't handled the ball that much, so there's going to be timing issues as well as a little bit of nervousness. You're down. Uh, by score of seven, and you know you need to move the ball, and you have been at that position. And that's what the call is, holding against Chase, and boy, isn't that a drive killer before the drive gets started. It'll be first and 20 with your backup quarterback, and you're down a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Not the best position for Chase to be in. Let's see what they can do. The big boys up front, Sweezy and, and uh, Nate Black, Trey McDowell, they're looking to get after this new quarterback. It's like Burns is going with three down linemen. K.J. Hopper creeping up around the line of scrimmage. Looks like he's coming. I don't know if K.J. was offside. They blow it dead he was. K.J. a little bit too eager there. He's going to give back five of the yards that, that Chase just lost to the holding penalty. Tom, I have Mr. K.J. Hopper in one of my classes, and as he's walking out the door today, what did I say? I said patience. Patience is the key. Does not listen to Mr. Byer. K.J. got a little excited there and was in there a little early, and he's unabated to the quarterback, so they blow it dead. So now it's first and 15, although looking at the down marker, Sebastian, looks like they've got it about first and 14. It is. The holding penalty is a spot foul, so it was a nine-yard penalty. So now we've got first and 14 for Chase. A little bit more manageable. They got trips out to the right. Single back set. McSwain calling the signals. He's got it. He's going around that right side. And Burns knocks him down after about a one-yard gain. Nice play. Looked like number 18, Chris McClure, in on defense. As well as Trey McDowell, number six. So nice play by the Burns defense. And it's going to be second down and about 11. For Chase. My microphone's going. Chase comes out in a power formation. They got split wide to the right and the left. I think they're going to run right at us. Looked like a man left early. They didn't call it. Burns is all over McSwain. He tried to get around to the left. Another penalty flag comes in. And that might be holding again against Chase. T.J. Roberts with a good defensive play, though. Had a nice hit there for a minimal game. So nice play by T.J. Roberts. That's actually a face mask against Burns. No, actually That's it's a hurt. face mask against Burns. And some of the Burns guys are walking around with their hands in, their, in the air. I'm not really understanding that call, but it's a huge penalty against Burns. And that's going to move the ball up. And that's going to get the ball up to give the offense. Ball up to the 43-yard the line. And that's going to make it about second and two. So Chase now approaching midfield. Folks, excuse me for having a little bit of technical difficulties. Mr. Tom always fixes it for us. Yeah. Working on it. Chase up to the line of scrimmage. Looks like, again, they're going to run a little power football at us. We got Squires in motion. McSwain keeps it. He's around the right side for decent yardage. It's going to be a first down. And Tom, if I'm Burns' defense, I'm going to keep an eye on Bruce Squires, number 15. And he was running with the option. He was moving with speed. If he got in that ball and got that hole, he's taken to the house on you before. It looks like McSwain's got a little mobility back there. And it's causing the Burns' defense a little problems as hopefully they can adjust. Ball spotted at about the 48-yard line. They're calling it the 49. Chase, first and 10. McSwain still in at quarterback. They got two wide receivers to the left, but McSwain hasn't thrown the ball yet. I expect to see another run. And that's exactly what we have. Straight up the middle. And it looks like we have number three, Trusted Abrams. Abrams. And it looked like our number three, K.J. Hopper, knocked him down. Clock's running. 
Uh, are you concerned about that if you're the Chase football coach? Not nah, with nine minutes and ten seconds is a ton of time to pretty much do whatever you want. So I don't think Chase is too concerned with the clock. Second, and we'll call it eight. Burns' defense needs a stop here. Ball's just over in Burns' territory, so Chase now enters plus territory at about the Burns, close to the 49. Now they've got two wide receivers right, two left, and McSwain's going to put it up. Looked like a lateral, a little bit of running room. Looked like Scooter Colburn and somebody, and now a flag comes in. This might be another face mask, Sebastian. KG Hopper's trying to indicate it's actually against Chase. I don't know. We'll get the call from the ref. And it is a face mask against Burns. Wow, two face masks. That one a personal foul. And that's going to move the ball. Now the referee says wind the clock. So 
is under seven minutes left. Okay, so there you go. They have plenty of time to pretty much do whatever they want. But Swain under center again. We got two wide receivers out to the right, but I think this is going to be some more power football. Look like Squires moved early to that cut. He's got the ball. Chase can get a first down without getting a touchdown. And first down markers are going to be pretty important. But Swain's on his defense over there. Two in a row for the two in a row. Squires, as you said, some, going to have some good looks at him. Now he's got it. And Swain dodges a couple of tackles, gets a nice high five. On the quarterback, He's going to bring the ball up to the 12 yard line. And they move it up to around the 12. And. Time out on the field. I couldn't see. I don't have the number. Let me see if I can find the number. It looks like he's got a pass. I think it's going to be a bad. You know, it's going to be a bad. Fans give the injured Trojan a big round of applause. No surprise there. It's on final in Roverton. Shelby defeats RS Central 52 to 7. The best competition in those schools this week. And the final score in that game from Pennsylvania, 107 to 90. That's the final score. Chase is answered here. Fumble on the 
Our fans, athletic boost to concession stand on the home side to the right. Half price hot dogs and hamburgers. Here on the athletic boost to the right side of the press spot. Half price hot dogs and hamburgers. Three minutes, 51 seconds left. Burns with a climb to home center. He's up over the line down first and 10. With 351 to go in the ball game. Burns leads 14 to 7. I told the fans, you want that defense to get them over. You got to make some noise. You got to get loud and they stay loud. So Aaron Hill, the period on the left side, picks up a yard. So we're going to take a brief break. Mike, this fellowship meeting in our broadcast. Once again, we'd like to thank all of their sponsors. Maybe Tyson Gibson, sponsor. Carter Chevrolet, Transportation Administration of Cleveland County, or a supermarket. Keep them insured. There's three, four, two, that's going to bother me. Hendrick Appliance, S&R Auto Center, and Western Center. Back to you on that. Crunch time for the Bulldogs, Sebastian. The Bulldogs are looking at second and nine with three forty two left in the quarter. And let's see if those big boys up front can make a hole. You gotta tell your fans, make some noise for that defense. Get them all. Hill behind Barney. And they got a chase man to jump off the line. Yeah. Hard count by Barney, and it worked. Can't see who the guilty party is. I'm wondering who's saying it's number 31. And we all five number. Trojan is a coaster. Correct terminology. Mike and that'll make it second and three for the Bulldogs. Good job by Cameron Barbie to draw that penalty. All right, fans, let's make some noise. Burns again in that triple option. Hill behind Barbie. I got a feeling Hill's going to get the ball. And I'm right. Hill around the right side, and he slips a tackle. And he's up for He's got a Pegram insurance. He brings it around the right side. Found Mr. Hill loses a shoe. Thank you. 
Chase not using the one and nine yard line. Yeah. Doesn't show me how many they have. So the clock continues to move. Two minutes. Play it off second and five now. Now, Barnaby is with the play. Of course, he's not the ball. All right, fans, here we go. Keep it up. Keep it alive out there. Jason, he's going to take his time. Now the check. Now Barnaby's got it. And now Mr. Hill has it again up the middle for about two. Good third down here. Clock continues to move. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. McClure up the middle. Let's get a third and one now for the Bulldogs. All right, Chase fans, we got to hear you. If you're going to get loud, get loud right now. Make us hot and hard. Let's go. I think we're going to go straight up the middle on you, Sebastian, in a minute. They go from the right side, he's got a first down. Nice run, Chris McClure. Picked his way with patience. It's all that he needs. Not two yards, it's all he needs. And McClure, in the third straight carry, goes around the right side. And he'll move the chain to make the first and ten for the four off. Huge first down. One minute and 48 seconds. This is going to repeat it. Both teams really running a lot of straight ahead. Uh, Chris McClure, Aaron Hill, running the ball a lot on the second half, keeping the ball away from Chase. I mean, you know, Chase really never wants to stay running. But when you say the ball keeps coming up to Jason, it's got to be too long in favor of Hill. All right, Trojans fans. You got to make some noise. You let that defense hear you. 14 to 7, trying to grind out the clock. And Aaron Hill's going to get it, and he's up the middle. No, no, no. Uh, we got a 60 yards. That's the 47 yard line. Nice block. <laughs> Is there a penalty flag there? There is a penalty flag. Right now, it's a touchdown <laughs> run for the Bulldogs. And they say it once he broke through. Personal foul against Chase. Got a touchdown personal foul there. against the Trojans. And I'll tell you what, once he broke the foul, it's the point. And it's not a good touchdown to do it. Especially over on the back of the box. And when you were doing that, it's going to make the score 20 to 7 Bulldogs with one minute and eight seconds left. Now the score is 20 to 7, and Coach Cincinnati can do it a little easier. 15 yard penalty will be a step on the kickoff. But you know, it's funny that they finished off the field goal. Of course, you know, Chase didn't finish off their drive either. Bad snap. Bad snap, but now Barbie's got to go down. Barbie has to go down on the extra point. Number 27, Chase Lewis. Well, good. We got some more laundry on the field. It looks like they got to get some work done there just a bit. Keep your head soft. And he does. Teammates come in there and get in the way. Yeah, get a little chippy. Been a rough night. You know, Chase, you fought hard. It's hard 
you so you're not going to really put that in the So, and the same thing, I've never had something like that in my bag. Of course, one with the camera and barbie trying to make sure I have enough to That plays in the corner of the engine. And I'm like, yes, yeah, you know, I have a nice engine to carry. Because it's a good player, you know, and it's the unknown stuff. This is good. That's a good two lane. Jerry Bradley's going to kick off Trey Whiteside and Bruce Wise back to return it from coach. Number 35, Tyrese McSwain returns the kick. They'll bring it out to the Chase 36 yard line. Cousins will set up first and 10 with 107 left in the ball game. He's big, he's big, he's six eight. But you know, it's his first year. So, you know, he got that big body and he's an impressive looking young man. Uh, you know, they have some experience too. So now we're about to skip a little time here with a minute seven left to go. It's straight in the shotgun. He's got the ball. He's going to put it up. He's looking over there to the left side. Uh, he's dumped off the three, but he's hammered there, but he gets away. Hammered again. Uh, and number three, Preston Edwards. The nice catch. Gets the ball to the 30. Jason Sheridan, we got a late marker on the field. Got a dead ball, personal foul with the Bulldogs. Going to move the ball 15 yards down the field. So the last time, some, some unsportsmanlike and some personal fouls to try to keep control. And Jason now set up on the burn for 48. And that'll be a Trojan. Who's flying to take the tunnel down? We're going to get about a yard on the play. Thirty-three seconds left to go. Chase and Little Hayes. I think the coaches have kind of conceded this game, and they want to get out of here before it quite breaks out, as we've had a lot of personal fouls. Which is a good job by their coaching staff. And now McSwain's got four wide receivers in the back to his right. 
and mullet backs get a little greedy there, and they just hand it off to Squire, who's got a little room. Bruce Collins takes the carry around the right side, runs the ball up to the 40 yard line. That'll be the last play of the game. The Burns Bulldogs to the J.K. Curry, 20 to 7. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and sticking through the weather the way. And Coach Travis, back to Longdale Burns fans, and Coach Travis, Georgia fans, wherever you are. Trojans will be down in Shelby next Friday night. You'll be sure to call your Trojans in Shelby and put in next week. Well, after we check, got some messages from the boss man. I'm going to tell you that I see uh, number 59. Uh, Bryson Allen looks like he's got some kind of break on now. We don't start to speculate on him, but we can't see him in the next game. Yeah. Uh, we'll We got train to the back end of 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 the back
get it together and finish off some of these guys. You know, our front guys. Two of them came on explosive guys, went on defense. We had the ball a couple times inside the red zone, and then another time close to the red zone. We had a fumble, and we turned it over a couple times on downs. So, you know, you, you, you talk about these other teams, and, you know, Kings Mountain put up a lot of points, and some of these other teams put up a lot of points. We definitely have the capability. We have moved the ball, and especially when we get some of our guys back that have been hurt, we have got the capability to score with anybody. We need to get a couple guys back. You know, we got some guys playing both ways. And, you know, you get tired, you know, in, in, in a long physical game, especially in, in, in light fall where it's still hot out. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to have an athlete. So, you know, hopefully we'll get some of these guys back and then we'll be able to finish off some of these guys. And if we were able to, this game is going to score some as it was. We're going to take a break. Um, this Transportation Administration of the Cleveland County Postgame Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll wrap it up in a couple of seconds. Thanks for listening to KBC. Yes. Yes. Okay. Any stats? No, nope. I'll deliver it in the end. Do you at least know he's got 108 yards? What's that? 108 yards of help and two touchdowns. The defense is the ground cover. Anyway, I'm glad. I did that. You know, like, oh. So we're working on getting you a couple stats for this game. I can't say Aaron Hill had 108 yards and two touchdowns, including that 60 yard run to seal the game. So Aaron Hill was our crossroads for the Shelby offensive player and our SNR player sales of Shelby player. Uh, while uh, Sebastian is giving some stats, uh, just a few other comments you'd like to make before we go. Um, I, was, I was pleased with, uh, it seemed like our passing game is becoming way more efficient. Seems like Tariq James made a couple of nice catches. Uh, KJ Hopper made a nice catch and a nice one from uh, Raheem Epps. And it looks like that uh, Marvin put the ball on the money on some of those you know, intermediate throws I've been talking about. The big one to Tariq James. And uh, they got us inside the red zone that led to the Aaron Hill touchdown. So I have seen some improvements in, in our passing game tonight. And, you know, I'll, I'll say this for Cameron Barbie. He, he throws a good-looking football. And uh, we uh, we threw a couple deep. We weren't able to hit the deep one as we were against the Q Foundation. Uh, but we had Tariq James out there with a step. And we had Raheem, I think like Raheem Epps. We had him with a step a couple times. So hopefully that's something we put together. Being off last week, I know it doesn't help. It's been two weeks since you played the ball game. But hopefully if we can combine some of this, it seems like an improved intermediate passing game. And we hit a couple more of them over time. And we'll be able to put some points, well, even more points on the board. Well, again, you're really in the field. It's just a little bit of confusion sometimes. It's just coming up. And you saw a ball off the board. You're going to have a few holes. You're going to have a few holes. You're mixing it up. You saw a few more in it. A few short passes. You saw the type of game with Eric Hill. Every time I'm not able to get you some stats for both, it must be the goal when the clock gets to half and it's gone. So we don't have stats for the front set. I can tell you without even getting to what else. Especially in the second half. So we won't be able to bring you a coach's interview with Coach Cincinnati, but I think his thoughts will be the same as ours. We're, we're continuing to improve. Uh, I thought you know, we played well defensively, caused a couple turnovers, got a touchdown on defense. Uh, our, our offense is also improving, but of course, you got a lot of work to do. It's early in the season. But when you get in the conference like you are tonight, you definitely want to start the conference off with a victory. And Burns, so, you know, definitely a much better start to the season than it was last. And hopefully we're on the way to making that big, big game against Kings Mountain. Kings Mountain's going to be a little disadvantage. They don't play you two nights a week. We know. So it's tough on the young men. We're going to take that as a coach. We shall see. So, uh, those of you who will be tuning in next week, Sebastian will be with you. Calvin Hastings uh, will be filling in for me as uh, I won't be able to bring you the broadcast. I'll be back in two weeks. Uh, but we want to thank everybody for listening on this Bell Shepherd Heating and Air Podcast.
but thank you for listening to the Transportation Administration of the Peter County Post Game Show. And thanks for uh, tuning in with us and supporting local high school football. Hope to have you at Burns High School next week for that big conference showdown between Burns and Kings Mountain. Thank you for listening to this ministry of heating and air broadcast. No prep. We came right in. We just did our thing. Yeah. When's it going to be like that? When you're not here next week. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Oh, I know it. Tom, what? matter as long as it's in the box with the power cord. Okay, sir. Thanks. Hey, fans, we certainly would like to thank